So I've got a dilemma. I'm gonna be going on a trip soon and I've got to decide, should I record in 1080p or 4K? Traveling on back with another video. I'm here in Seoul, South Korea in the Gangnam area. So the other day I recorded in 1080p and surprised some of you when I mentioned that it was actually 1080p. And I thought, you know, this would be a great experiment with this particular video to kind of showcase the difference between the two and if I can actually get away with 1080p. So, what do you think so far? Is the 1080p working? going to wait till it gets to be darker outside that way we can get some comparisons in the evening it is the evening time now so we're gonna take a look and see how the 4k and 1080p look at night so I'm really hoping that the 1080p holds up because I just don't have that much storage space to take with me on my travels so we'll see what happens think about the 1080p 4k challenge as I was uh, doing the different shots I was really hoping that you're able to kind of delineate the differences and maybe just maybe 1080p is going to be enough for most people uh, I was thinking about advantages between the 1080p and 4k I mean 1080p I guess the first thing that comes off the head is affordability you don't have to buy SSDs or hard drives. You don't have to invest in the top of the line computer with the top processor, RAM, graphics card. I mean, that's, that's saving a lot of money. So um, another thing that I was thinking about an advantage with 1080p is that you're gonna save time. I mean, for many people, uh, including myself, I have to create proxies if I do 4K. So um, whether you're using Final Cut, um, DaVinci Resolve, Adobe, you're going to have to create proxies if you don't have a top of the line computer. And that can take time. And then on top of that, when you end up rendering your final project, that can take time too. So by using a 1080p format, you're saving a lot of time, which, you know, time is money and time is important especially if you have other endeavors your full-time job you have kids 1080p is not that bad another advantage i was thinking about is the fact that youtube for most people they don't really know how to set the right settings and the preferences and the higher quality or or how to set a specific format so i mean you're looking at the fact that most people are going to watch YouTube like 720p. So all that hard work for your followers, all that hard work to 
you know, make sure that you have the best quality picture, most people are gonna even gonna watch your video in 4K. So that is something to think about. But I think with 4K, you know, if you have the computer power, you have the hard drive space, I mean, yeah, of course, the 4K kind of speaks for itself. You're gonna get the best quality out of your camera. And there are a whole slew of people who are going to appreciate that. When people pixel peep, they're gonna be able to see that, you know, your, your camera is, you know, reaching its potential. And not that camera people are snobs or YouTube subscribers are snobs, but they're gonna appreciate that extra 4K. Um, I know, you know, for, for myself, I know I do appreciate that, but at the same time, um, there are, I think, times and that it doesn't really need to be the most perfect picture. You know, when you think about vlogging or traveling vlogs, I mean, I think that's, I think the content in that situation is more important. But if you're doing cinematic things and you're really wanting to show off your camera or show off the area that you're visiting, I mean, 4K is gonna always be your best route. In the end, what do you all think? Um, do you think 1080p is going to be good enough for me? Uh, I'm really, really wanting to see if 1080p is gonna be enough because when I go off to the trip, I'm going to uh, a few different locations and I just, I have two SSD hard drives, both of them two terabyte. And while that may seem like a lot, that can add up quickly. And I just, I just have like this hard drive anxiety that I'm gonna fill it up if I do my trip in 4K. And what do you think? Should I record in 4K or should I do it in 1080p? Um, please let me know down in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. I hope after getting everything put in through uh, Final Cut, rendering it and posting it on YouTube, that the 1080p uh, looks pretty good but uh, it will save a little bit of money and uh, save some time. And uh, anyways, uh, I hope that helped you all out. Thank you so much for tuning into the channel. I always appreciate you all so much. I look forward to providing even more content in 2024. I uh, hope you guys have a blessed end of the year and uh, hope all your goals turn out well for the new year. Anyway, you all, God bless. Take care, peace.